Hi, I'm Helen from Woolly Chic and in this short video I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute rainbow. So to make my rainbow I'm using a 4mm crochet hook and the West Yorkshire Spinners Colour Lab DK Technicolor that has all the colours of the rainbow in just one ball. So I have wound them into individual colours into these mini balls and I'm ready to crochet. So I'm going to start by making a magic ring and to make a magic ring you lie the tail end over your fingers and you make a loop round your fingers crossing over the yarn and then put your hook underneath the strand, catch a loop and pull up. So it's a bit like making a slip knot. And then at this point, I'm going to make a chain. So that's starting with a, a, a magic loop. And into this magic loop, I'm going to do three double crochets. So into the middle of the loop, pull through two loops on my hook, yarn around the hook, and pull through those two loops again into the middle catch the yarn be from behind pull up pull through those two loops so there I've got my three double crochet um, stitches or single crochet stitches if you're in America and the great thing about uh, the magic loop is that when you pull the tail it automatically closes up the uh, the the ring and if I was doing amigurumi I would then be able to um, make a completely invisible um, hole in the middle so you wouldn't be able to see any hole in the middle. So let me show you that again. So I've got the tail end of the yarn over my fingers. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my three fingers, making a cross, catching it here, and then put my hook underneath the right hand loop, catching it and pulling it through, making another loop. Then taking the strand that is attached to the ball, and then going to make a chain. Now that is the beginning of your magic loop so you've got a nice big circle in the middle and it's into that circle that you're going to put your hook to make three double crochet stitches so you go in catch the yarn from behind and pull through two loops on your hook yarn around the hook and pull through those two loops do the same again two into the middle catch the yarn pull through two loops, yarn around the hook and pull through those two loops. And then I've got my three double crochet or single crochet stitches ready to start. And that's my foundation, my foundation row. So then I'm going to pull the tail to close up the loop. And we've done the first row of our rainbow. Now for this pattern we'll be working in rows so we need to turn at the end of every row. So first we're going to do a turning chain of one chain stitch, one chain stitch and then turn. And I'm going to be putting my hook underneath the V so both parts of the stitch I put my hook straight in yarn round the hook and pull through the stitch, two loops on my hook, yarn round the hook and pull through those two loops. I'm going to do for this row, I'm going to do two double crochet stitches in each of those foundation row stitches. So increasing from three stitches to six stitches. So that's one back into the same stitch or two 
and into the last stitch, which might be a bit fiddly. One and two. So I've increased from three stitches to sti six stitches. And in the next row, we're going to stick with this colour, this nice violet um, colour, and uh, we're going to do one more row. So yarn around the hook and make a chain and then turn. And in this row, we're going to do one in the first stitch and two in the next stitch. One, two. One in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, oops, that was two in that stitch, one in the next stitch, and then two in the last stitch. So I've cut my yarn and I'm ready to join my next colour, which is blue. So I'm going to take a loop of blue and just simply pull it through the loop that's on my hook, which is the purple. And then I'm going to give the purple tail a tug to kind of secure that into place. Now you can let go of the tail of the blue and do a turn in chain of one chain. Now in this row, we're going to be doing double crochet stitches, one in the first stitch, one in the next stitch, two in the next stitch for an increase, one in the next stitch, and one in the second stitch, and then two in the third stitch. And then one, one, and in the last stitch, two, one, two. So when we've increased to 12 stitches. So we're going to do another row of blue, and this time a chain to turn. And we're going to do a single double crochet stitch in the first three stitches. One, two, three. And in the fourth stitch, I'm going to increase by doing two stitches. So one in the first stitch, one in the second stitch, one in the third stitch, and two in the fourth stitch. One, 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 and in the last stitch, two, and that's increased from 12 stitches to 15 stitches. We're ready to join the next colour. So I'm going to cut, cut the blue. and grab the next colour. Okay, so I'm going to join the green, pull in a loop through the blue loop and giving the tail a bit of a tug to secure it into place. Okay, so ready to do my turning chain. But I'm going to move the green tail out of the way. So I'm going to do a turning chain and then turn. I'm just going to vary where I'm going to put my increases so I don't get a kind of hexagon shape. Um, so this time I'm going to uh, do a double crochet in the first stitch and a double crochet into the second stitch and then increase into the next stitch one, two stitches and then do four double crochet stitches, one, two, 
three, four, and then increase into the next one, one, two into the same stitch, and then four double crochet stitches, one, two, three, four, and then increase into the fifth stitch, one, two, and then one, two, to my turning chain, and then I should have 18 stitches, because three times six is 18. Okay, so in the next round, I'm going to do a double crochet stitch in the first five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then two in the next stitch. One, two, and five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then two in the next one, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then in the last stitch we do two stitches, one, two, so in that row we've increased to 21 stitches and we're ready to change colour. So I'm just going to cut, cut the green and ready to join the yellow. Okay, I'm going to pull a loop of yellow through the green loop, give that a tug, okay, and make a turning chain. And on this row, I'm going to do a double crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. Then an increase by doing two stitches in the next one. One, two in the same stitch. And then six stitches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and then an increase. One, two in the same stitch, and then six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then an increase. Two in the next one. And then we're left with three stitches. One, two, three. Now for our turning chain and turn. And then we'll do seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then our increase, one, two, and then we'll repeat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase two in the next stitch and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then in the last stitch we do two stitches, one, two. So that increases that row to be to 27 stitches and we're ready to join the next colour. 
So I'm just going to cut the yellow and grab the orange. Okay, so I've joined my orange and I'm going to make a turn in chain. And turn and in the first stitch we do a double crochet stitch and in the second one and third and fourth and then in the fifth stitch I'm going to do two double crochet stitches to increase in the next eight stitches I'm going to do a double crochet stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in the next one, two double crochet stitches to increase. And then repeat two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase, one, two, in the same stitch, and then I'm left with four stitches, so do a double crochet in each of those four stitches. And this row then has got 30 stitches. So a turning chain and then turn. And then in the next nine stitches, we're going to do a double crochet stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two in the next one, one, two in that same stitch, and then nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then an increase in the next stitch of two stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then increase in the last stitch with two stitches. And that's increased to 33 stitches and ready for the final colour, which is red. There we go. So we'll just cut the Cut the orange and grab the red. Okay, so I've joined my red. I'm going to do a turn and chain and then double crochet into the first five stitches. So turn and chain, turn my work, and five double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then increase into the next stitch with two stitches. One, two. There's a lot of counting in crochet. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to do a double crochet into the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then increase in the next stitch with two stitches, one, and then to back into the same stitch, two, and then ten stitches, one, two, three, four, five, whoops, caught the yarn a bit there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two in the next one, one, two, and then we're left with five stitches, so we just crochet to the end. So in this row we've increased to 36 stitches and we're ready to do the last row. So I've made my turn in chain, I'm turning my work and then I'm going to crochet in the first 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two in the next one, one, two, and then repeat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then increase, one, two in the same stitch, and then another eleven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that should take us up to the last stitch where we do our final increase into this stitch with two stitches, one, two, and that's our last row, so we can cast off, yarn around the hook and make a chain, pull up a big loop, and cut at the top and then we can pull the pull the wool away and make a knot and that's our last row of 39 stitches and there we've made a rainbow so all that's left to do is sew in those ends there we go all finished